the total number of PVCs collected in places where elections were not held amounts to 37,016. That announcement by the returning officer for the governorship election in Adamawa State has been generating reactions. It's already been done, and they know who, who, you know, the results Governor are Governor Amadou Fintori believes see, the decision was misguided. So he was a guest on Channel's television breakfast program, Sunrise Daily. I think because of the inexperience and, 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 and the mindset of the rec, he misled the returning officer. There was no need for it. I was leading by over 35, 31,000 in Ogun. Uh, he led by 12,000. Uh, issues in various uh, uh, units across the state was over 30,000, but the man was declared. The same thing with Kaduna. The same thing in several states, if you go around. And uh, he went and concocted uh, 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 some units of PUs that have already been concluded. This stance of the incumbent governor is further portrayed by the emergence of an audio file in which the Adama State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Mr. Udo Yunus Ari, is alleged to have made an attempt to subvert the outcome of the election. Hello? Hello, sir. Mr. Ari has denied allegation. You should help the women, help them because they're weak. And it was interpreted, it was, it was interpreted that the, a candidate should be helped. This is, this is not true. It's read upside down. So, um, but Governor Fintori has some doubts. INEC as an institution is not in doubt. The character of the REC is in doubt. If the REC had called on the, is it electoral? Reacting to Governor Fintori's allegation, the All Progressives Congress APC governorship candidate in the election, Mrs. Aisha Benani, has asked the Independent National Electoral Commission to review the results of the election. Officials are were being held hostage and what have you. So we wrote to INEC, pleading with INEC, please come to our aid and review those, uh, 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 the result of this 16 local government. Since it's, uh, you have the powers to do that within seven days. And you have done that for Abia State. You have done that for uh, Enugu State. You have done that for a constituency in, in Kano State. That is for, for Dogua. So I, Adama shouldn't be different. INEC declared the March 18 governorship election in Adama State inconclusive after it cancelled the election in 69 polling units following reported incidents of violence and overvoting. Meanwhile, the results as announced by INEC show Mr. Fintiri is in the lead with 421,524 votes ahead of Mrs. Benani who scored 390,275 votes. While residents of Adama State await the date for the supplementary election in the 47 wards of the state, the parties have to return to the drawing board to ensure they gather more votes from the over 37,000 votes that are up for grab.